So based on the title, we will be discussing suicide. So please, if you are triggered by that, go see a different video. Have a great day. Or watch any of my other blogs if you want to. Whatever. I will see you tomorrow. Um, and of course, because the word suicide is going to be in this title, YouTube will demonetize this video. But you know what? I don't give a crap. Good evening, internet friends. How are we doing today? My dogs are doing sleepy. But at least that's good. MRL's been less bratty today, so that's fun. But right now, it is contemplation with Captain America time. Had a serious thing happen today. And since it's a general topic a lot of people can relate with, I'm going to discuss it with you guys today. So based on the title, we will be discussing suicide. So please, if you are triggered by that, go see a different video, have a great day. Or watch any of my other blogs if you want to, whatever, I will see you tomorrow. Um, and of course, because the word suicide is going to be in this title, YouTube will demonetize this video. But you know what? I don't give a crap. Because this is a subject that is way more important than monetization. Just so you know. It's extremely important. So, about an hour or so ago, one of my friends messaged me saying he wanted to kill himself. And, okay. So a thing to know about me is that you know, I'm very, very, like, very protective towards people. If, like, if someone online's like, oh, I'm going to kill myself, I'm going to be like, no, you're here for, on this earth for a reason, and I'll get into that too. And, like, you deserve to live and things like that. If you are my friend, I go into freaking overprotective mother bear mode. To where it seems like, I am yelling at you and pissed, but I'm really not, <laughs> if that makes any sense. And here is why I would get that way. I was suicidal when I was 14, about 13, 14 years old. I attempted five times. Um, I have a link, well, I have a video that kind of describes that a little bit more, not in complete detail, but a little bit more about it. I'll post the link down below, and then if I remember to do that weird suggestion I card thing then you can go and see it if you would like to I did it for National Suicide Prevention Day so there you go um but yeah and you guys already know I also suffer with major depressive disorder along with generalized anxiety disorder and panic disorder so depression is still prevalent luckily I am not suicidal not anymore I haven't been for how long has it been now? About nine or ten years, so yay! But back to the point of why hearing one of my friends saying they want to kill themselves pisses me off. It makes me mad for them. Not at them. Not at all. It makes me mad for them. Because I know exactly how they're feeling. I know that dark place that your brain goes to and it sucks a lot. It's a horrible horrible place. You don't like you don't want to be there. I mean you don't want to sit there and be thinking you know people are better off without me. I'm gonna kill myself. It's not a good place. And even then, depression screws with your brain so much already. And it's like... Um, sorry, I've taken a dizzy med that purpose that makes me drowsy because I've not been able to sleep. So, I, the, it started to kick in. 
<laughs> but anyways, um, depression screws with your brain enough. And then it will do this, too. So, and that's something my friend's dealing with also is depression. And obviously, I'm not going to tell you guys who this friend is, and it doesn't matter for you guys. It only matters for me. So, um, but knowing what it's like being in that mindset and knowing what it's like for your brain to be that much of a jerk makes me so mad because of course if someone's saying they want to kill themselves I want to be able to convince them otherwise as much as I can I want to be able to help them let them know hey you know there are people that care while on top of that trying to not make it seem like I am being very self-centered saying that only I care but that's probably my anxiety talking because it always thinks I'm being selfish but not the point um so one of the big things I'll say to people is that you are here on this earth for a reason you may not know what that reason is yet I mean your reason could be that you are the cure for cancer or that you I don't know build wooden chests for people or that you are the reason somebody is still alive today. Um, and you may think that you, and some people may think, oh, I might have already fulfilled my reason. To which I'm like, how would you know if you did? If you kill yourself, you won't know. And that's actually what I had to say to my friend. And I mean, heck, I don't even know my reason for being here. But looking back, and I do this from time to time, I will look back on my life, the nine to ten years since all the suicidal stuff happened. And I'm like, you know, there's so much that has happened that if I had succeeded would never have happened. Like just for a few highlights, I would have never been in marching band in high school. I would have never graduated high school. I would have never gone to college and graduated college. I would have never met the amazing friends that I have now that I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep forever and ever and ever and ever. I would not have all three of my wonderful dogs. Sassy I had growing up, but I mean still. I would not have much more time with Sassy Girl. And I would have never met Riddler and Emerel. Emerel would have never been my dog. Um, and one of the most important things to me, this vlog would not exist if I had actually succeeded. Um, and these amazing friendships that I've built with you guys would not exist. So, I mean, what is my purpose in life? I don't know. I have no clue what it is. Nobody really knows, actually, but if you kill yourself, you're never going to know. And even then, there's so much that life has for you. And I know that depression... It's going to be like, life sucks, and it's awful, and like, bad things happen, death is inevitable. People will forget you eventually after you're dead, and they'll heal and move on. But you know what? That's not all life is. I'm going to tell you that right now. Yes, life sucks sometimes. And yes, death is inevitable. We are all going to die one day. And yes, people will move on. But for the first part, it does not mean there is not good in life. Even on your darkest day, you can find some good in life. For example, today, as one of my great days, I ate half of a loaf of Italian bread. My brain likes to tell me, no, that was horrible. But I'm like, you know what? That bread was freaking delicious. I think it's a great day. What else happened? I took a nap. That's fantastic. You know, even though life is bad and there are bad things that go on, there are little things that make life great. And of course, like yesterday, I went with a friend on an expedition of going to the Creative Discovery Museum and to the aquarium, and that was fantastic. So life can't be all bad if there's good stuff. As my wonderful friend from Slice of Lime will say, celebrate the sprinkles. And I love that philosophy. Find the good in every day. Even if your day absolutely sucks, there is something. 
Even if it's just as much as you breathed today. That is important. Sorry, I'm also kind of itchy. Um, and yes, we know death is inevitable. We're all going to die eventually. But does that mean you need to hasten that? I say not. Because you still have that whole life ahead of you. Full of experiences and wonderful things. People to meet and experiences to have. And of course, delicious food to eat. Duh. <laughs> Maybe I'm just saying that because I'm hungry. But the point is. And yes, people eventually move on after someone dies. But it doesn't mean that the pain doesn't go away forever. I mean, I had a great aunt that died when I was a kid. I didn't know her that well. But I mean, I'll still miss her from time to time. I still have that memory. And even if you think, oh, people will forget about me whenever I die. That's not true. They will always remember you. And there will be that little bit of pain of that friend is gone forever. Or that coworker, Or my brother, sister, wife, aunt, second cousin, whatever. Point is, you would be missed. I'm sorry. I just happened to see Riddler's lip just going blub, blub, blub. So. And I know this seems like just this huge rant. But it just... I hate it so much that depression does this. That it causes people to think that they're better off dead. When that's not true. That it only lets you see the bad and not always let you see the good. And trust me, guys, I'm speaking to the choir. I've got depression, too. And it often tells me that I am a worthless piece of crap that is better off dead. But does that mean I listen to it? No. Especially not the dead part. I still find the good in life. Like my wonderful dogs who have stolen my entire bed. Things like that. And I know I've just kind of ranted on and on for a while. Actually, I actually have no idea how long this video is now because I'm not wearing contacts. So I can't see at all. <laughs> um, but the point is, guys, here is the take home message. You are loved. You are worthy of being here and having space and breathing. People, even if your brain tells you otherwise, people care about you and people love you. I care about you and I love you. And if your brain says otherwise, you could tell your brain to go jump off a cliff. Just remember that, guys. I know that it's a dark time and depression sucks and feeling like crap sucks. But please remember... That there's that couple of my favorite analogies. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. It may seem like it's really far away. But there's always just that little glimmer. Because the great thing about a tunnel is it, it does start, but it has to end somewhere. Because otherwise, it really wouldn't be a tunnel. It'd be more like a weird hole, funnel thing. And of course, after thunderstorms come rainbows. And I know I'm being really cliche, but you know what? Point made. There is good. There's bad and there's good. And please guys, remember, I'll, let's see, I will post here somewhere. I will post down below um, numbers for the National Suicide Hotline. Please, if you are feeling suicidal, talk to somebody that is extremely important because you are here for a reason and we cannot afford to lose you nobody can afford to lose you because your family loves you your friends love you your co-workers love you the pressing the panic button family loves you okay remember that guys
here, here. Let's go in for a group hug. Are you ready? Are you ready? And a group hug. Yay! So remember that, guys. Okay? And if you need somebody to talk to, I mean, my DMs are always open. YouTube, Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter. You can talk to me, guys. I won't yell at you, I promise. <laughs> But know that you are loved and you are worthy of existence. So now, with all of that in mind, I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is, give one reason, I know there's a bunch, but give one reason for living. For me, a good reason to live is because there are still people in life and experiences you have yet to discover and meet. And why waste those opportunities when you can grasp them and be able to make those discoveries, experience those things, meet these people? There is so much more to life that you have yet to see. So, put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!